The Butler Institute of American Art, located in Youngstown, Ohio, on YSU's campus, was founded in 1919 by Joseph G. Butler, Jr. It was the first museum of American art. There is no admission fee to visit the museum. There is also a branch located in Trumbull County. The Butler is home to many famous American art pieces. One of those pieces is Soren Emil Carlson's The Surf, painted in 1907. It is 64 by 74 inches and it is oil on canvas. It is part of the landscape movement, surf, a work of dominating blue, a color that Mr. Carlson has made quite his own by his loving treatment of it. Some rocks are in the left-hand corner over which the sea tumbles, breaks, sends up its spray, and subsides as it comes nearer land. The sky is a marvel of tenderness and lightness, the sense of pigment being quite absent. Strange blue-greens manifest themselves in the ocean with touches of pink and iridescent tints, until the whole work seems bathed in a dream of color. American Seas Painters by Arthur Hover. Another painting housed at the Butler is Robert William Bonner's In Flanders Field, Where Soldiers Sleep and Poppies Grow. This was painted in 1890, oil on canvas. It is based off the poem In Flanders Fields by John McCrae. In Flanders Fields, a poppy blow between the crosses, row on row that mark our place, and in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Field, take up our quarrel with the flow. To you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders Fields. Currently on display is Vincent Van Gogh in the dunes, oil on paper laid down on panel. This is part of the post-impressionalism movement. In the dunes may display little outward sign of his signature aspect, and nonetheless reveals most nearly everything we have come to know about this man's famously turbulent and impassioned nature. My body will endure for a certain number of years, come what may, say between six and ten, Van Gogh wrote in a letter to his brother Theo around August 7, 1883, only several weeks before he painted this landscape. My plan is not to spare myself, it's a matter of relative indifference to me, whether I live a long or short time. I see myself as having to do something with heart and love in it within a few years and to do it with willpower. J. Halster We hope you enjoy your visit to the Butler Institute of American Art.